Today we have some exciting announcements from OpenAI. So first, the ChatGPT desktop app for Windows is now available for all users. So all users can get access to ChatGPT. There's also advanced voice mode available. What's really exciting about this one is that there is also search enabled inside of ChatGPT desktop, which I think will be really powerful. So that's one part of the news. The second announcement, which is the more exciting to me as a developer, is this integration of ChatGPT with your local coding applications. So this announcement is about ChatGPT having the ability to look at your coding apps and use that context to better provide you answers. So if you're generating code, now you can basically enable your coding apps such as VS Code or Xcode and even the terminal. You can give ChatGPT access to those apps so that it can refine outputs and make outputs more relevant and better adjusted to the task that you want to complete. I think this kind of workflow is something that would be super useful, especially because you don't need to be switching between different applications. So if you're generating code within, say, ChatGPT, GPT, you need to be copying over code and then you need to be providing the model some additional context and picking that context, selecting that context is actually an important part of the process. And now this is done for you. Now I'll focus on is and actually building whatever it is that you're building with these coding apps. This one is a short video of how it works. So let me just play that. Hi, I'm Romain from OpenAI. Today, I want to show you a quick look at an early feature in the ChatGPT app for macOS the ability to work directly with the applications on your computer. So imagine I'm building an iPhone app and I have my Xcode project open here. Previously, I would have had to copy my code back and forth from Xcode into ChatGPT. Well, now with this new integration that I enabled, I can click the Xcode button here and ChatGPT can immediately see the Swift code I'm working on. Check out this example. So OpenAI 01 first created this entire app from scratch to track the ISS and astronauts in space in real time. But say I want to add a new feature to this app. I can simply write, add a new screen in the center with the live stream. Now, ChatGPT has the context about my existing Swift code and starts suggesting the changes. That's done, so I can just jump back in and update the code. Let's build the app. Let's command R. Great. It's pretty cool. The live stream is right there with a, even a fancy icon for it. And I could keep on going and adding new features, but for now, let's ship this update. I'm going to switch to the terminal, and I'm going to now ask ChatGPT to work with my terminal. I'm going to tell ChatGPT to help me push this on GitHub. Now, given that ChatGPT has the context of the two apps, Xcode and the terminal, ChatGPT can help write commit messages based on the work we've just done. It can also help troubleshoot errors if you have any or install missing dependencies based on anything it sees in your terminal output. And that's it. ChatGPT helped me iterate on this app. It's like having a pair programmer by your side and you're ready to ship this update. We're always working on additional ways to make ChatGPT more useful for developers. Personally, I would love, for instance, for ChatGPT to go even further, showing me the diffs, writing the files, or potentially letting me talk out loud um, the features I'd like to add. And these are things we'll continue to explore. We hope you find this update useful and stay tuned for more. That's pretty interesting. The fact that ChatGPT now has access to your terminal, this will allow us to be able to ship faster, right? We don't need to enter like repetitive commands. You can use ChatGPT to help you with all of that and debug errors and so forth before you deploy. This is very exciting for developers and I cannot wait to actually try it. I really like the fact that the ChatGPT desktop can look at the different applications at the same time, right? So you can look at the terminal it can look at VS Code and decide what to recommend, right? So it has that context. So that's pretty interesting. And I think that makes it really useful. Now, looking into the future, there's obviously a lot of talk about the O1 models and now the future, which is going to be AI agents. You can imagine that you can automate a lot of this, right? So if you are doing deployment, you can have an agent deploy things for you. Obviously, these agents still are not perfect and there's a lot of things that you need to always be monitoring, especially for very critical type of commands that you may be using within your applications. So that's something to always keep in mind. But I can definitely see some integration like that here, where when you send a command to ChatGPT, ChatGPT looks at what it needs to look at and then 
collect the right information and create better responses or even complete tasks. So something they didn't mention here, these are mostly coding applications, but how about other applications, right? There's a lot of applications, so like applications for writing, applications for browsing. How would it interact with the browser? How can it use the browser as context? I think that'll be interesting too. And I know there are rumors about OpenAI working on some agentic framework to interact with the browser as well. So it's very similar to computer use from Entropic. How that might work together with the ChatGPT desktop, I think that's actually part of the play here as ChatGPT is integrated closer to our personal computers to be able to do personal tasks and so forth. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Leave some comments on what you're excited about and what you're building and how you plan to use this. I'm very curious to hear from you all. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you all on the next one.